Chris Jansen, buy me a boat, B105, the Breakfast Club. Ken and Kathy, it's 808 today, 70s uh, over the hill, and 60s near the lake. All right, and so Grandma's Marathon is a week from, well, technically today if you're running the 5K, but uh, we're going to be talking about the Cliff Bar Pacers. And so they are more involved with the half marathon and the full marathon that comes up a week from tomorrow, next Saturday. And we have Star with us. She is an actual Cliff Bar Pacer. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We are doing well. Uh, anticip- oh. oh, sorry. Anticipating. I want to a- jump right into the I questions. I guess. Go ahead. Go ahead. How did you get a job? Okay, so first off, explain what a pacer does. What a pacer does, essentially, we call it a running game of follow the leader. So if you were running the half marathon, which is an even larger race than the full, and your big goal that you've been working towards is to break the two-hour mark, We have a person who is going to run exactly two hours for the half marathon. They're going to kind of set the pace, kind of like the little Energizer bunny. We actually carry a sign and balloons the whole time we're doing it. So that's kind of, you know, not not the most fun part of the job, but we're going to set that nice steady pace. And then anyone in the race that wants to uh, can just follow along. Um, Kind of like the Greyhound slogan, leave the driving to us. Yeah, funny. Well, except for moving your legs thing, we still got to do that. And the breathing. <laughs> yeah. But how do, so how do you get to be a cliff pacer? I mean, what, is that the, are you like on monsters.com job webs or is it a volunteer thing? Or what, what happens there? You know, it actually is a, a volunteer position, even though um, Cliff Bar is very generous as a sponsor and they take care of our race weekend oh, okay. expenses. Um, so we have pace leaders from all over the country. We have people coming in for grandmas from Seattle, from California, from Florida, from Chicago, which is much closer. But we're pulling from all over the country, um, which just gives us a nice representation of um, the best runners across the country. We always wanted to be able to find the best people to serve as pacers and not have their ability or inability to pay to go to these races be an issue for them Hmm. okay that that is amazing though because i mean your your race or your run is different every single time at least mine is uh some days i have good days some days i have bad days for the cliff pacers they have to be on time every single time and i know that not only are they carrying a stick and they've got this group of people around them but they're also uh expected to encourage if somebody is starting to uh, kind of fall off the pace they're encouraged to talk them into getting back up with the pack wow Yeah, you know, one thing that we do that helps with that is that all of our team leaders are running slower than they normally would. So that person who's pacing a two-hour half marathon, if they went out to race it themselves, they could probably run 140, 145. So we make sure there's a cushion there. Uh And I'll tell you, the talking (laughs) talking is not the worst part. The worst part, um, I'm I'm a runner myself, and Kathy, you're going to know about this too, it's the bathroom issues. You just never know how that stomach is going to behave on race day. And mm-hmm. so we've got to make sure that we've got people where if they're going to have to make a pit stop, they're going to be able to get right back to that group um, by running at their own pace. So that's forget about the balloons, oh, forget about the talking, <laughs> and just worry about that stomach. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like, here, hold the stick. <laughs> what? <No. laughs> I'll be right back. So, um, but now, when we first started promoting that we were going to talk to you, Ken goes, who's Cliff? So I, I thought, okay, no, no, we're talking to Star. It's a Cliff Bar. Can you just tell us what a Cliff Bar is for a non, non-racer? I mean, but they're available at the grocery store. Anyone can eat them. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, most people have seen Cliff Bars. Um, They've been on the energy foods market um, since the uh, 1980s, actually. And it is an organically sourced uh, nutrition bar. Um, We always say this isn't a diet bar. This isn't a diet substitute. This is something that's great for you if you're going to need a quick breakfast or maybe had to skip lunch because of a meeting. You know, the standard bars have 250 to 300 calories and a variety of flavors. The best flavors are honestly like healthy cookies or candy bars. Um, So I'm partial to a blueberry crisp and the chocolate almond fudge. Um, Mm -hmm. 
But for those who like nuts and seeds and pomegranate and chia, we've got that going on too. Okay. Okay. So here's the deal. It is free to run with the Cliff Bar Pacer if you are going to be running the half or the full, and you will find your leader at the uh, in the race. You know, the beginning of the race. Look for the balloon with the time that you want to run because that's where they are. And uh, I know Grandma's Marathon also has on the sides of the the shoot. They've got you know the, where the times are. So you just kind of go there and look for that balloon. It, it was red last year. Do you happen to know what color your balloon is this year? They they are always red, okay. and we always line up on the right-hand side of the street if you're facing the starting line. Awesome. That's even better news. Okay. So, you know, Star, thank you so much. Are you coming yes. to run this next weekend? I will be there. I will be doing the 215 group for the half marathon. Oh, hey. I might be behind you. But I'll. Hey. <laughs> but that's about the time I would, I'd like to do, too. But uh, I may be about well, maybe, 15. Well, maybe you'll see her. I know. Yeah. I'm going to totally come up to you and say, I'm the girl. No, she'll come up to you go. On the radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And then drop at your feet. I'll recognize either introduction. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, sounds good. <laughs> uh, Star, you're the best. Well, safe travels to you for uh, coming to Duluth, and we'll see you next Saturday. Sounds perfect. See you then. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Well, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, neat. that is oh. amazing. I, I learned a little bit more about if, the pace. You know, if they, they just... ever have like a 15-minute mile pace they need and brought to you by Burger King's Whopper, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's kind of – it's such a bummer, too, because, like, you see that balloon come up right next to you and you think, oh, I'm going to stay with them. And then they, they see the that balloon, balloon go off, off in the, the horizon distance, yeah. and you think, dang. Well, I'll wait for the next balloon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Brett Young, in case you didn't know, B105.